keeping our hearts and our minds open. Let us pray to the Lord, responding, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, for peace across our world, peace where nations are in conflict, peace where communities are in conflict, and peace where families are in conflict. Where there is disagreement, Lord, we ask you to lead people to choose reconciliation. Remember at this time all those who are particularly affected by war and terrorism in the Middle East and New Ukraine. For peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to give grace and guidance to the leaders of the Christian church or religions, so they may provide us with guidance and spirituality. We ask you, Lord, to lead us to help bring unity to all people. For togetherness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to give wisdom to the political leaders of all nations and all those who have influence among us, so they may promote equality, fairness and justice. We ask you, Lord, to help us realise that we always have more in common with our neighbours than we have differences. For fairness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for help for all those who have been affected by hurricanes, tornadoes, storms, wildfires, earthquakes, floods and droughts. And we ask you, Lord, to make us more conscious of our planet's limited resources and to use them equitably and sustainably. To safeguard all that we have on earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to help ease the pain and distress of all those in our community and all those known to us who are ill or who are suffering. For these people, guide us to offer them assistance and comfort. We also pray on this day for all those people who have no one else to pray for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we hold in your hands all those who have recently departed and those who have lost love to our anniversary or birthday at this time. We ask you, Lord, to give comfort to all those left behind. For relief from the burden of grief, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we now take time to say in silence all the thoughts and prayers deep within our own hearts, we also lift up to you all the prayers of the people who visited the church in the last week. For all of these silent prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. May Almighty God have mercy on you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Wherever you are this day, let us offer one another a sign of peace.